What if I told you that right now, at this very moment, a robot army is building the phone in your pocket? Not just any robots. We're talking about Samsung's $50 billion automated empire that just produced 64 million smartphones in the first quarter of 2025 alone. That's 711,000 phones every single day. But here's the crazy part. Most people have absolutely no idea how this technological marvel actually works. Today, we're going behind the scenes of the most advanced smartphone factory on Earth, and what you're about to see will blow your mind. The numbers that will shock you. Let me start with some numbers that sound absolutely insane. Samsung's main factory in South Korea, just one facility, cranks out 19 million phones every year. But that's just 7% of their total global production. We're talking about a company that has manufactured over 7 billion smartphones since they started. That's almost one phone for every person on Earth. But 2025 is different. Samsung just reclaimed their throne as the world's number one smartphone maker with a 21% increase in production. They're targeting 37 million Galaxy S25 units this year. That's more than the entire population of Canada getting a brand new Samsung phone. The robot revolution you never knew about. Here's where it gets absolutely mind-blowing. Walk into Samsung's Gumi factory in South Korea, and you'll witness something that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Picture this. Nine out of 13 production lines are completely automated. We're not talking about a few robotic arms here and there. We're talking about a full-scale robot takeover. These aren't your average factory robots, either. Samsung has deployed autonomous mobile robots that can carry 1.5 tons of materials. That's like a robot casually lifting a small car and walking around the factory with it. These AMRs, autonomous mobile robots, have completely replaced forklifts, making the entire operation safer and 300% more efficient. But here's the kicker. When something goes wrong, 90% of the time, the machines fix themselves. No human intervention needed. It's like the factory has developed its own immune system. The 40-Minute Miracle Now let me tell you about the most impressive stat of all. From the moment raw materials enter the factory to the second, a completed Galaxy phone rolls off the production line. 40 minutes, that's it. In the time it takes you to watch this video and grab a coffee, Samsung has built an entire smartphone from scratch. Each assembly line is 60 meters long, that's longer than half a football field, and contains around 30 fully automated machines, each with one specific job. It's like a perfectly choreographed dance where every robot knows exactly when to move, what to grab, and where to place it. The glass that's thinner than your hair. Let's talk about something that will make you look at your phone screen differently forever. That foldable display on the Galaxy Fold? The glass is only 25 micrometers thick. To put that in perspective, a human hair is about 70 micrometers thick. Samsung is literally folding glass that's thinner than your hair, and it can do this 300,000 times without breaking. How is this even possible? Samsung has created what they call Infinity Flex displays using ultra-thin glass that's been chemically treated and layered with organic compounds. When electricity hits these compounds, they emit light, creating those vibrant colors that make Samsung screens legendary. The Secret Recycling Empire Here's something Samsung doesn't advertise much, but it's absolutely genius. Up to 25% of the glass in your Galaxy S23 Ultra is recycled. The aluminum in your volume buttons and SIM tray? 30% recycled. Samsung has built an entire circular economy where old phones literally become new phones. They collect aluminum scrap from old devices, transport it to specialized smelters, and melt it down in electric arc furnaces. This recycled aluminum then gets stamped into new phone components using precision, dyes that can create hundreds of SIM card holders in a single operation. The testing gauntlet that would destroy your phone. Before any Samsung phone reaches your hands, it goes through what I can only describe as technological torture. 
Picture this, robots continuously dropping steel balls onto phone screens from 45 centimeters high. Other robots are dropping entire phones from 60 centimeters onto hard surfaces over and over again. There's literally an aquarium where 20 switched on phones are continuously submerged in water. Robotic arms are opening and closing foldable phones millions of times. Some phones are being bounced around in rotating boxes to simulate the impacts of being in your pocket. And here's the crazy part. They have a phone farm where hundreds of devices are connected to shelves, running software updates, and aging simulations 24-7. It's like a smartphone retirement home where phones live out entire lifetimes in accelerated time. The human element in a robot world. Now, you might think this is all robots, but here's the fascinating part. Samsung still employs 9,000 people at their main facility. But here's the twist. Most of them aren't building phones. They're building and maintaining the robots that build phones. It's like they've created a robot civilization, and humans are the architects and caretakers. The actual assembly? That's handled by precision robotic arms that can place components with micrometric accuracy. We're talking about robots that can position a camera module or install a battery with precision that human hands simply cannot match. The global competition that's heating up. Samsung isn't operating in a vacuum. Their biggest competitor, Xiaomi, has achieved a 96.8% self-developed rate for component testing equipment. That means they've built almost their entire testing infrastructure in-house. Meanwhile, Motorola's Texas factory pumps out 100,000 devices per week, and they claim they could scale to tens of millions if needed. But Samsung's response? They're not just competing on volume. They're competing on innovation. While others focus on quantity, Samsung is pushing the boundaries of what's physically possible with materials, science, robotics, and sustainable manufacturing. The environmental revolution. Here's something that might surprise you. Samsung's factories are becoming carbon neutral. They're using renewable energy sources, implementing closed loop water systems, and their galaxy upcycling program is giving old devices entirely new lives as IoT sensors and smart home devices. The packaging you throw away? It's made from recycled paper that goes through a fascinating process where old paper is shredded, mixed with water, and reformed into new packaging materials. Even the adhesives are water-based to minimize environmental impact. The future that's already here. Samsung isn't stopping at smartphones. They're developing collaborative robots, dual-arm mobile manipulators, and even humanoid robots. The same technology that builds your Galaxy phone today might be serving you coffee tomorrow. Their partnership with Rainbow Robotics is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI-driven automation. We're talking about robots that can learn, adapt, and make decisions in real time based on production data. So the next time you pick up your Samsung phone, remember, you're not just holding a device, you're holding the result of one of the most sophisticated manufacturing operations in human history a process that combines cutting-edge robotics, materials science, and sustainable practices to create something that fits in your pocket, but represents billions of dollars in research and development. Samsung's 64 million phones in Q1 2025 aren't just numbers. They represent a technological achievement that would have been pure science fiction just 20 years ago. And with their ambitious target of 37 million Galaxy S25 units this year, they're not slowing down. What amazed you most about Samsung's manufacturing process? The robot army? The 40-minute production time? Or the fact that your phone screen is made of glass thinner than your hair? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you want to see more behind-the-scenes content about the technology that powers our world, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Trust me, you won't want to miss what we're uncovering next. Until next time, keep questioning how the world really works.